another video. Today we are going to be working on the truck. It is raining, so what better thing to do than to pull it in and remove the mud flaps and remove front chin spoilers. So let's get to it. So first we're going to start off with the uh, front mud flaps. When I put these wheels and tires on, I did have to push the metal back a little bit so they wouldn't rub. I'm hoping when I take these off, I'll have a little more clearance because in the future we're going to be adding bigger tires, maybe bigger rims, bigger lift possibly. So we're going to use, I believe it's a star bit, and we're going to take these off. Okay, so one of the main reasons that I wanted to take these off was one, for clearance, two, I want to clean the truck up, and most importantly, look at the dirt and nastiness that is inside of it. Okay, now this piece was right there at the bottom. Obviously, it has to stay on. It has the, uh, the hooks and whatnot. But look how much dirt was trapped inside of there. Filthy, filthy, filthy. So we're going to clean that up, reinstall this little guy, and keep it clean. If anyone is curious what this is, it is called an eraser wheel. It basically will take off any of your decals, any of your, um, in this case was like a two-sided tape that held the mud flap on. So if you are more curious about it, feel free to watch the video I made on the Bayliner Element decal removal. I'll put the link down below and it'll explain more in depth. Prime example here of why you should not run your mud flaps. This little mark here. Get my feet out of it. See that little mark where it's scuffed up the paint? Can't fix that. And I might be able to get that scuff off of there. There you can see that line. I'll still work on that one. I might be able to get it off. This side is just about as dirty as the other side, so we're going to get it washed off and put the little pieces back on. Okay, so we are done with the sides. I didn't wash them off like I said I would. It is nasty raining outside, so they're gonna wash themselves here in a minute, but I wanted to show you, you can see how it's bowed in, and that is because I pushed that back in order to make the tires clear. And you can see the scratch is there where the tire is still hitting, because I haven't pushed it back far enough. These are a 20 by 10 minus 25 wheel. I will be doing another review on those and how they do fit in this truck. There you go. Front is done. Alrighty, so we're under the front lip of the truck and as you can see there are bolts all along here and basically we're going to undo those bolts. My light's not shining over there. But, uh, but yes, there's some more. We're going to unbolt all those. And it should make the truck look a little taller. Okay guys, so the front chin spoiler, if that's what you want to call it, is off. We will give you a final outside, but I can tell you right now, it already looks taller. Now, there were quite a bit of bolts, so I highly recommend getting yourself some kind of an air tool. And I do want to show you that I had to keep two bolts. So this is what it looks like now. It's just, just there, but something needed to support it. So in the middle, you have your metal support from your bumper, and it leaves you one clip there, one clip there. So I put those two back on, and now it's supported. Nothing is loose, and it's off. Okay, now it's time to take the back ones off, and then we will get a final look. No, it does have the the gaps in there to let water and mud out but I mean it just does not do a good job. So this one is all done when it's dry and it's not raining outside I will put some touch up paint on those little holes there so they don't rust too much. These tires stick out way farther now. I will show you a before and after right now. Hope you 
enjoyed this video. I showed you the before and the afters. I think taking the front piece off, taking the mud flaps off, not only because they're gonna cause rust in the future and all kinds of stuff gets piled in there, but it also makes it look higher. There's only a leveling kit on this truck. I will do a full review on this truck in the future. It may already be up by now. It depends on when I made this video, but all the headlights are on. All my light bars are on. Looks awesome. Looks way bigger. If you want to do it, any questions, comment below. Like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.